Hello guys, welcome to University of Fashion Drafting. We are focused on everything fashion. My name is Umo. As we all know, the Met Gala held a couple of days ago with the theme American Independence and a lot of celebrities went all out to prove that patriotism is really beyond stripes and stars. However, as usual, some celebrities' outfits attracted really hilarious comments that left me in stitches, so I decided to do a compendium of some of the hilarious comments as well as a mini review of some of the outfits. So first on my list is... A man in Harish Reed, she's wearing a jacket bustier with flares and a petticoat made from gradient dyed feathers as well as a hat made from the same gradient dyed, fe dyed feathers to top it off. Um, let's take a look at some of the comments on her, about her outfits. A lot of people were asking how she sat down and then someone... <laughs> Someone said, waiting patiently for Nigerian celebrities to recreate this. Well, to the question of how she sat down, the main outfit is actually a bustier with flares. So the petticoats made from gradient dyed feathers is, and as well as the hats are accessories. So I don't think sitting down would have been a problem. This is what the actual outfit looks like. So I don't think sitting down would be a problem. As to the issue of recreating, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem for skilled tailors and designers that are willing to put in the required work. Okay, so next on our list is Nas in Atelier Versace. A lot of people asked <laughs> where his pregnancy ran to. But anyways, this outfit is actually three in one. First, he had on this dramatic cape, which I really loved. I like the embroidery detail on it. And then beneath it was this gleaming Medusa adorned armor that reminded me of Tin Man in Wizard of Oz, in the Wizard of Oz movie, only that his was gold. And then beneath that, he had on this skin tight bodysuit. Next is Lupita Younger in Atelier in Versace. I feel like Lupita understood the assignment really well. I loved this dress made from American denim. I loved the crystal adorned gorget on the skirt as well as the detail on the side of the bust on one side of the bust area. A lot of people actually loved her look in general. Okay, so next is Sierra in this backless Jesse inspired dress by Peter Dundas. I really love that she's wearing her husband's jersey number. I absolutely love the football jersey details, the exaggerated shoulder pads. I loved her purse too. It's just a really creative look in general. I loved this back. Like the next is Taraji in this diamond covered outfit by Moschino. The fit at the bust area looks kind of poor, but I think the issue here is really that she needs to hike up the bust area just a bit. There were quite a lot of the quite a number of negative comments about her her look and the outfits and then the look in general but from the eyes of it I think the issue was that she just needed to hike up the bust area a bit and be a lot more conscious of that okay so next is this stunning lady in Kristen Cowan um loads of people said she looked like a, like a belly dancer but really this gown has 10 million hand placed crystals like and then there's an in interesting story to the train of the dress one train shows the filipino flag the other is the black american heritage flag i think it's a really interesting concept but somehow we just ended up making her look like a belly dancer and there were some really wicked comments <laughs> some people said she looked like a belly dancer some said um that's horrible comments yeah. then next is simon bows in area couture i i'm awed by this outfit like i love the bodysuits too even though a lot of people said it took it away from the look but i don't think so well i hear this dress weighs about 45 kg like i can imagine how many hours of hard work and sleepless nights, nights this was worth anyways next is gabriel union in this dress by iris van heppen guys this dress is pure art like the dress was created from thousands of spheres cut and layered in size gradients from a translucent white liquid fabric and then laser cuts with a fine silver outline and hand stitched guys like hand stitched to form a multi-level optical illusion from which waves 
seemed to float down weightlessly. I love the creativity, the craftsmanship, the attention to details behind this dress. And I would love to see her in motion. The love, um, really nice comments about her look. And I think for me, this would be one of my top 10 um, looks. Um, I, I think someone, a lot of people were asking to see the dress in motion and all that and all that. Anyways, next on our list is Pharrell and his partner. I think their outfit was pretty basic. However, I think this will make like an interesting inspiration for um, outfits for a couple's pre-wedding shoot or stuff like that. Anyways, here are some of the hilarious comments. Someone said security guard vibes. Like, seriously, guys. Anyways, next is Dixie D'Amelio. I feel like her stylist did her really dirty. Like, it looks like she just placed huge pom-poms on her head. Her shoes were weird. The outfit in general was just really weird. So, like, her hairstyle just reminded me of... <laughs> Chelly does pom poms. Anyways, um, Baby Metallis said I could literally flip her upside down and mop the floor with her head. Like, ah, uh -uh, that's harsh. But anyways, next is Aza Gonzalez in Atelier Versace. This is an absolutely stunning look. Like, I love this dress. I love the crystals at the chest area. I love the neckline drape that was now used to form that pretty glove on. The left hand like it is just such a beautiful dress and it's reminiscent of the golden age of hollywood glamour i feel like she really interpreted the theme really well like imagine this in white so it would be really 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 stunning anyways guys there was a there were a lot more interesting outfits and hilarious comments but this would be all for now this was a really fun to do so i might decide to do it part two but for now guys i have to get back to work because i have a lot of pending deliveries to make anyways i'm sure this was fun for you to watch please ensure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the not notification bell so you get notified once i put out new content guys i would really love to do a part two of this I hope I find time within the next probably one week or so. But for now, guys, have fun and thanks for watching.